Hi there, so today I'm here at the Mosaic restaurant in Ubud and I'm here with David and David's originally from Sweden and he's been here for two, two years. years. We've met with David before when we've come up here on our foodie feast. Um, you came and cooked for us last year. So this year he's going to show us something very specific. The thing we're going to do first is talk about the pork because this is actually kind of Mosaic's version yeah, of suckling pig it, a little bit, isn't it, it? It is. So what we do is we take baby small pigs, yep. we cook them overnight, we shred the meat, mm -hmm. we put out the skin, and then we put the meat on top, a mm -hmm. little bit of pork stock, and then we press it, and then, yeah, you get yep. like this. Yeah, so it's a terrine, basically. Yes. Um, and we'll have the recipe for you. Uh, you can use pork, I guess. You can use pork you loin, can, you can use you, pork belly, yeah. you can use, yeah. yeah. You could actually do this with pork belly, actually, yeah. couldn't you, really, rather yes. than go through the process of the terrine. Yeah, 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 it's a lot of work. It's okay. a lot of work. Um, and then that's going to be served with some caramelised onions that have, that's got curry leaves and raisins and a yeah. few other yummy stuff in it that you could actually do in the Thermomix, but, and I might put a link up for that version, but we've done it on the stove. Yeah, so they've yeah. been cooked for a long yeah, time. Yeah, so cooked very, very long time. Yeah. And then what we're going to do today in the Thermomix is a parmesan foam. Yes, parmesan yeah. foam. So it's parmesan, water, we have some soya lecithin, yeah. which will help to create the foam. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's do it. Let's yes. see where we're at with that. So how... Oh, All the matter. cheese, 300 yeah. grams. 300 grams, okay. And it's already grated, but you can grate it in your Thermomix first. <laughs> and about how much water? 250. 250, okay. So is this going to get cooked? Yeah, so we, so we just want to heat it up to melt it. Okay. So we get a parmesan liquid, we yep. strain it, and then we use the liquid okay. for this recipe. Okay, it's going to take five minutes. Okay, so the parmesan has melted in the water for about five minutes. So let's see, what have we got left? Yes. I'm going to strain that, yeah? Yes, yeah, so we're going to strain, strain this out. So, so you literally take it. all the solids out and yeah. all that's left is that really strong parmesan flavour yes. in the water. So you basically yeah. get a water, yes. Yeah. Do you need to mix that in first or after? No, we strain it and then we mix it. Okay. In. Yeah. Oh wow. You can see what's left. And I bet that doesn't taste of anything, does it? It has a little bit of Does taste. It? Do yes. you use it for anything? Some some people complain if, if you waste. I so, know. So, so you can make you can put it in the oven. You can make some parmesan chips or something. Oh, like this. okay. Mm, it's pretty bland. Yeah. So mm. most of the flavor is in the water. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we have the parmesan water. Yes. We've got the soy lecithin, and it's going into the thermomix just to really combine it very well. What happens if you don't use the soy lecithin? It's not going to foam up as well, okay. so this is a stabilizer to keep yep. the foam. Is there anything else you could use, like a corn flour or something? Or I mean, you can use, if, you, if you're if you at home, you can use, if you put some milk in, it tends to foam oh, up okay. a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go to 10. That'll be good. So we're just going to crisp up the pork skin? Yeah, so we, skin. We, exactly. So yeah. medium, medium heat for the pan. Just not heaps of oil, but just a little bit. And that's it. You're just going to heat, like crisp it up, and then <laughs> you're good to serve with yeah. everything. Cool. So all of these elements in these recipes are going to be really great on their own. Um, as individual recipes to add to, you know, dishes of your choice. So I will be putting them up as separate recipes, but for the dish, you're going to need each component already made. So you've got to keep that warm? Yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah about 60, 70 degrees. Okay. So you could leave it in your Thermomix, I think. That would keep it hot while you did this, or warm enough. It will keep it, you know, at a good temperature. He's going to bar mix it, but we do it in the way, I'm pretty sure. That's it? That's it. So you wow. So we could definitely do that in the yeah, mix. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah, and then you just take from the, the top. From, from the yeah, top and then you just do it again if yeah, you need to? Just, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah.
Uh, we also have some fried curry leaves, so you just wash the curry leaves, dry them as well as you can, um, and then throw them into hot oil for literally, what, a second? Yeah, five seconds. Very, sec very fast. Very fast. They stay bright green like that, but they're a little bit crunchy. So they're kind of a garnish, but they've got yeah. a real flavour hit as well. I'm actually loving the combination of these flavours because it's sort of a surprise to add parmesan to pork to curry to sweetness to jus. Wouldn't normally in my head put those flavours together, but they're just so beautiful. All, all yeah, together. work nicely. Yeah. So about how long on the pork? Normally, it's just five minutes. Yeah. yeah. So if you had more in there, it's still going to take the same. Yeah. You yeah. just want to have a crispy skin. Yeah. Make them warm. All right. So they're. Done, done. Nice and crispy. Don't touch it with your hands. You <laughs> these guys. Seriously. Okay. Yes. Yum. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Perfect. So this is the caramelized sort of sweet curry onion. Get some raisins. Do you serve it like this in this small way, or do you yeah. have it as a larger serving with several? No, we we, we serve like this because yeah. we do like tasting menu yeah. six or eight courses. So we serve small portions. Yeah. Small portions. It's in here a little bit of pork little, sauce, pork little bit juice. Of jus. Yeah. And you kept them warm, the curry leaves. Yeah, yeah. because it's so humid. Yeah, so we... yeah. Wow. Yeah. Finish. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it, and then I'm coming back to taste it. <laughs> All right, the true test. It's the taste test, right? Oh, it's still crispy. Yum. Oh, it's so soft. I'm giving up. I oh, love no, crispy skin. Oh, that's amazing. That's so good, David. Thanks so much. That's delicious. I expect this on Instagram too, guys. Let me just eat. Oh, go away. 